I'm going to show you a technique involving rubbing alcohol. Has anyone, I know Roberta, you've yeah. done the rubbing alcohol. I did it too. You've with done you. it. Yeah. Okay. I've tried it. Yeah. You've tried, tried it. it. Yeah. Oh. Nope. No? No. Yeah. No. No. Okay. okay. So you got no's and yeses. So it's fun stuff. You can use the rubbing alcohol. Evaporates so much quicker, which is why I wasn't concerned when it totally went haywire on me a few seconds ago. So. All right. You're making now, this piece right here? I'm actually drawing this line right okay, here. Okay, thank you. But my shape is a lot more longer than it is taller, like in this picture. So you have to just kind of go with it, right? Mm. Splashy top. Dark part of the wave here. I could go a little. I'm doing it monochromatically for the moment. Are you using gray? We used that word yesterday. This is gray. We used a lot of that word yesterday, mm. yes. Mm. There's some darks up here clouds. So, I mean, this really just looks like very abstract in a way, but that part's wet still. That's all right. <laughs> mm. it's wet. I have so hair. What, what did I miss? You put alcohol in first? Or no. 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 The alcohol spilled over. Uh, oh, my oh. Oh. Well, The alcohol works better than wood if it's a dry quickly. Yeah, it evaporates very quickly. Now, I'm using the pastel matte paper. Um, if you do not have this paper, we're gonna find you a surface to do this on if you choose to do this. Because you can't do this on regular paper, it will just kill the paper. It'll just turn oh, into wow. a big mush. Oh. Okay. So, so, is that a new pastel you used? This was a new pastel that yeah. I used, oh. yes. I didn't use a soft one because why use something fancy when you could just use something regular? Mm. I have a little bit more control and I wanted to get some of the lines in. Now you can go to town and do, if say you have a white piece of paper in your pad, like instead of buying a whole pad, sometimes there's randomly one white one and you don't want white. You could do like what Roberta does and put blue everywhere and take some rubbing alcohol and just smear it everywhere and then there's a blue piece of paper. Ooh. So you can change your color of the piece of paper very instantly. I'm just utilizing the white and treating it as an underpainting at this stage. The more you put down, you know, the more you have the ability to almost paint with it. I'm looking for just kind of a base, just a fun way to maybe have parts of it come through. How come I got up there differently? Is that it's because it's the it's still paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Didn't want to mention that. Come it's a nice cloud. Work on any kind We're of pastel. We're gonna turn it into. <laughs> it will this. Yes, because pastel is just chalk. Okay. And if you leave a chalk out in the rain, it's going to make Sogginess, this. yes. Yeah. We've all so, done that. Okay. Side so what this also does is it right. embodies, embeds, not embodies, it embeds the pastel into the paper. So it really, oh. it, I, once it's dry, I can put like my hand across it and it doesn't smudge. It doesn't lift up. So it's and a great way. what kind of paper is it you're using? The same paper that I used last time. It's called pastel matte. Yeah, still matte, but it won't work on like mixed media paper. I don't know if it will. We can find out. And if it doesn't, then I can give you a, a, a piece mm -hmm. that I have. But I kind of want to oh, work on mine. Now, could you do a whole painting no. with doing okay. it this way? Okay, like, like, then. <laughs> if you know that one. If what? Well, could you do a whole painting that way? Like you totally can. Yeah, absolutely. You could do a full blown color piece. Like I yeah. could go in with. Let's do this. Is it wet here? Is it dry here? Let's go in with some of this blue. What would happen if I put a little bit? I've done this before. You have to normally wait for the the um, rubbing alcohol to dry there. So if you did want to do a full color piece, do all of the pastel first and then do the rubbing alcohol on top. Oh, and then you get like a, like a watercolor effect. Yes, and it's, yeah. it's very lovely. Like, yeah. See that? I don't even have that cloud there. That's but really my cool. world just it's great cloud. for clouds. Mm -hmm. And this still qualifies as a pastel. Alcohol? But once yeah. I do this everywhere, the then I'm going to go in with regular alcohol on top or not alcohol, um, a regular pastel. pastel on top. But I'm gonna go dry it with my hair dryer. We have conveniently to show you what happens when you do use pastel on wet paper. See how the paper's kind of ripped and torn? Yeah. Yes. Oh. yes. So you this want, was really wet. This was really wet and I put pastel on it and it just yeah. said, mm. yeah, mm -hmm. no, want that. Yeah, and you could see it more visibly here. So that's what not to do. <laughs> okay. That's uh, too much alcohol. Alcohol with a pastel on top. Doing the pastel, do pastel on top. First, you're supposed to do so that. Uh, oh, okay. But it had to. Yeah. You have to. I didn't let it dry. So. And the mother. Right. I'm using more blue and stuff than I see. Cool already. Anyway. Yeah. It could just be like abstract. What I think is interesting.
I was just saying, I took a class in, in, in abstract from nature a week or two ago. Oh, really? It was up Who was at, that with? It was up, oh, I forget her name. It, um, Marjorie something, and she's an abstract artist, and it was up at that in um, Bergen it, County. I didn't notice that there was that greenish color until you did that. And yeah, it was, oh, there it is. Right. It is. Where is there? the green? <laughs> uh, is it right here? There's green. Oh, it looks a little Yeah, I didn't even notice it. Hmm. There's always color, and it's uh -huh. medic down below. Oh, nice. Medic cabin. How nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, isn't that cool? And oh, do, is the surface any like different to play no, to paint with, it? It? or is it just the underpainting that is giving it a oh, like The underpainting gives me a set vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A, a, a set it's kind of vibe white. that I'm trying to maintain. Mm -hmm. So by doing the underpainting first, mm -hmm. what allows me to kind of help, it helps me personally because, you know, I'm trying to get a little bit crazier, but my type A personality mm -hmm. doesn't let it happen. By doing the underpainting first, it allows me to also, you know, kind of maintain that looseness. Can mm. I ask what, what the term underpainting means? What, I it's was just going to ask Just that. like what I did yesterday, an underpainting is just a, a monochromatic value study without the use of lines, only using tones, so lights next to dark, without thinking about color. So I'm establishing my subject matter through just lights and darks and placement um it's kind of like when you're writing a story and it's like the the draft stage something oh, along those that's lines that's a great analogy <laughs> yes for the, the publisher best analogy. Yeah. so see so i also want to show you i purposely chose this one because um has anyone ever made like a uh, splashy stuff with pastel mm. yeah. splashy mm. stuff well, i guess um spritz would that be a better term? No. no, no. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to show you something. Let there be light. This part's a little wonky over here because of the paper that I killed by pouring. Yeah, but you're rescuing it. <laughs> All right, I like that. That's, that's Too bad okay. you can't put a happy little tree over it. Oh, hey. I mean, <laughs> right okay. up there in the sky. I could put a nice palm tree right here. There you go. <laughs> See? And I see, I spy with my little eye some purples mm -hmm. and some apricot -y oh, yeah. Do you guys see that? Dang, that's cool. <laughs> like when you look at this, you see blue, white, and gray. And then you start, yeah, yeah. there's purple, mm -hmm. there's yeah. yellow. I see a lot of purple, mm -hmm. yeah. That's amazing. A lot of the, the colors, a lot of the reference photos or, or images that are just like bland like this always end up with the most amount of colors. Mm. So that's something to always be aware of is if you do have a subject matter that is just kind of like, oh, it's gray, like, is it? <laughs> Ask what yourself that question. Because it probably is not. It's probably a blend of many colors, like a white dog or a black dog. Whenever I do animals like that, they're, they are rainbows. Let me just mm -hmm. tell you that. They have a million colors in all of them, so. Mm. Oh, that's good. Actually, if I want to make money, yes. there's so many people with dogs in my apartment, I just like take taking pictures instead of doing dog commissions. There you go. Mm. All right, purple little wave back here, but it's a dark purple, so we're going to darken it down. So it yeah. definitely has a, a rougher vibe. Now I could refine this to the point where, you know, it's more and more and more, but you know. What's beeping? I don't know. Like oh, okay. I was like, I don't recognize any toys sounding like that. <laughs> so at this point you're done with the rubbing alcohol completely? I am. Now I could always add more rubbing alcohol and smush this to town, but I don't want to. But personally. I thought, oh right. You could. You could. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Um, alcohol? I'm just using it for the underpainting stage. But then if you, did, if you rubbed it to town, then you can't put ch uh, pastel back over it, right? But you, you can. When oh, it's wait dry. a second. I'm confused. Oh, when it's dry. When it's dry. That's the key, when it's dry, because right now it's, you know, dry, so I'm able to layer on top. Right. Well, that is, that is so did you wet the whole paper and then go dry it? I... Put down pastel. I wet the pastel on there, turning it into brush strokey, painty look. 
and then I dried it. Okay. Remember when she was dipping the paintbrush in this little thing? Yes, I do. Yeah. Your little. I, do you remember that long? Then I had. switched little then things you stole because her. <laughs> I, I wanted I one. saw that. I saw. Oh. I saw Carolee. That's. Oh my God! She got such a good one. So then I. Um, I knew everyone was, was gonna <laughs> like. I knew it. I was just. Is there waiting a blue, to another blue one? one? That's what I was looking for. Blue one? I everyone always gets so enthralled with that whenever. <laughs> Did you make these little things? Um, a, a, a fellow colleague of mine is oh. a friend. You got, yeah, yours is amazing. Yeah. Oh, look how yeah, that's, that's already funny. looking yeah. like a... Oh, it's beautiful. And I am going to pull out a it's very great. dark... Yeah. Mm. They're taking shape. They are. Now, what would we do if we didn't use the alcohol? We just drew it. Well, you would just draw it regularly, but I you're going to do the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, know what? I'm doing. You're going to use a piece of paper that I'm going to give you, and you're going to do it. <laughs> use the next. Yes. What, what is it? It's like a little soda. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They were easy to do. So, so I think you should make them. Um, you should make a bunch of these. They're so great. They're just, it's a slab, and then you form it. You know, it's great when you have company, if you have a little like this, if you want to put out olive oil or balsamic, oh, or soy yeah, sauce, soy sauce, sauce we use a lot for soy sauce. They each have their own by their own place, so they can use what mm -hmm. they want or not. And mm -hmm. everyone is different, which is yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. You can make salt cellars, but they would be a little yeah. smaller. <laughs> you can get the little tiny, we'll you can have make to little have tiny a ceramic spoon. Thing. But I've done this, uh, the soap dish thing, and then I've okay. gone to one other thing. soaps. But don't put it away, you're going to use that. Mm -hmm. no. Your alcohol. Oh. You're gonna do the alcohol. <laughs> oh, we're using it for the she alcohol. Want to yeah. use it. You think she's, she's just, just like I'm taking presents? this yeah. for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I said that too. Okay. I'm taking this. <laughs> oh, that's great. Did, no. Did somebody already claim this blue one? Um, this yeah. one here? Yeah. I love how there's. I can find you a you blue one shirt. One? I want the blue one if nobody else wants it. Well, well, I don't if you already claimed it, sweetie, that's your okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to do the foamy splash stuff. Um, the what? The foamy splash stuff. Oh, oh. good. That's important to do. I like that. Yes. So a couple little things I just want to do first. I'm going to amp up this light back here. I'm going to use a pretty... You're putting on lots and lots of chalk and you're not brushing it off or blowing it off and just letting I'm it sit. Being very mindful of not blowing it right now. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm okay. dying to, but I'm not. Oh, okay. I know. It's hard not to, right? It is. I'm so used wow. to it. Wow, look at that. That looks so good. Did you show, show Kristen that? She's always doing splashes. Um, but she doesn't work in pastel. No, she's not. She's working in pastel. Yeah. Oh, you can't do that. Okay, hold on. I didn't even do the splashes yet. So, <laughs> I need a brush. No. Yes. What, what is it? It's like a little soap dish. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They were easy. So I think you should make them. Um, you should make a bunch of these. They're so great. They're just, it's a slab and then you form it. You know, it's great it when you have company, if you have little things like this, if you want to put out olive oil or balsamic oh, that, or soy yes, sauce. Soy sauce. We use a lot for soy sauce. By their own place, so they can use what mm -hmm. they want or not. And mm -hmm. everyone is different, which is yeah. cool. You mm -hmm. could make salt cellars, but they would be a little yeah. smaller. <laughs> you can get the little tiny. We'll you can have make to have a ceramic thing. But I've done this, uh, the soap dish thing, and then I... Okay. Well, gone one other thing. Soaps. Don't put it away. You're gonna use that. Mm, no. For your alcohol. You're oh. gonna do the alcohol. <laughs> oh, we're using it for the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> you think she's, she's just, just like I'm taking presents? this? Yeah. For nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I said that too. Okay. I'm taking this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Did, no. Did somebody already claim this blue one? Um, this yeah. one here? Yeah. I love how there's. I can find you a you blue one shirt. You want this one? I want the blue one if nobody else wants it. Well, well, I don't know, if you already claimed it, sweetie, that's your okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to do the foamy splash stuff. Um, the what? The foamy splash stuff. Oh, oh. good. That's important to do. I like that. Yes. So, a couple little things I just want to do first. I'm going to amp up this light back here. I'm going to use a pretty. You're putting on lots and lots of chalk and you're not brushing it off or blowing it off and just. Letting I'm it sit. Being very mindful of not blowing it right now. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I'm dying to, but I'm not. Oh, okay. I know. It's hard not to, right? It is. I'm so used wow. to it. Wow, look at that. That looks so Did good. Did you so, show Kristen that? She's always doing splashes. Um, but she doesn't work in pastel. No, she's not. She's working in pastel. Yeah. Oh, you can't do that. Okay, hold on. I didn't even do the splashes yet. So, <laughs> I need... 
A brush? No. All right. Okay. Okay. okay, so here's some technique. Here's some technique. Uh, All right. Oh. Whoa. Oh. And what's going to make it stay there? Though? You will see. It's like so brilliant and so simple. I learned this actually from a student of mine. Oh. I can't even take credit for it. Thanks, Patricia. Don't you Thanks. love that? That you can still hey, learn things? I am learn always things. learning. Every hey, day. Hey, I learned that thing from you today. I know. I'm so excited. Thanks. Every day from the kids and everything. I mean, I you know. So absolutely. Smart. I don't want to go overboard with it. Now, the question is, how do we get it to stick? Mm. So you take your magical piece of glacine oh, tape. Who's that Press it down. The glacine. So oh, it comes It comes with the pastel mat. It comes with the pastel mat. You get the pastel mat. It's between each sheet. Now, ideally, I would use a palette knife, but whatever. Oh, look at that. And you just press it, and it will lift it up a little bit, but this just kind of helps it press yeah. down. Nice. Oh, okay. It's cold pastel. So cool. Okay. okay. And then... Voila. Wow. See, oh, isn't that wow. fun? That is uh -huh. fun. Very see, now cool, I would have right? gone in with a pencil and drawn each like. Now, see, the thing about <laughs> pastel so pencils crazy. is pastel pencils don't have the strength of a chunk pastel. Right. The white is not as white. Oh, oh, gotcha. And the black is not as black. No, I but love that. So I love that technique. These are all a little small, but nice. you, could uh -huh. do you could do That's a beautiful. black. Let's it try black. it with the black. Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. The black brings out the deep waves. You could do a um, warm white. Uh, yeah, like like a sand. That will look like a sand. Or parchment. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. So, Very nice. you know, maybe do it smaller. So you can